The SmartTemp Control 2.0 is a simple control interface that allows you to quickly operate Webasto air heaters. This video is meant to help you learn everything you need to know about the controller and get it up and running quickly. The main component is an ergonomic comfort dial. You'll use this to scroll through menu options and to control temperature. One click of the dial changes the temperature one degree. The face of the controller has two buttons. The top one, marked with the Webasto logo, serves as the on and off button for the system. The bottom button, marked with a square, allows you to select options within the menu and acts as an enter button. On the left and right side face of the dial are smart indicator LEDs. When you press a button or turn the dial, they will turn on along with the LCD screen if vent mode or heat mode are active. Press the Webasto button a second time to turn off the heater. The lights will stay on for 30 seconds after you finish using the controller. Solid red lights mean the system is in heat mode. Solid blue lights indicate the system is in vent mode. Flashing red lights signify attention is needed. The control unit also serves as the thermostat for the entire system. Because of this, the smart temp control shouldn't be put too close or far from the hot air outlet in order to have an evenly heated area. Multiple factors, like door openings, can affect the temperature reading. To begin using the controller, the time and date must be set. In the event of a power loss, the date and time must be reset. All other previously set data will not be affected. Depending on which mode is active, different symbols will appear on the LCD screen. Ambient temperature will always show in the middle. The set temperature will display in the bottom left on the main screen and heat mode screen. If the timer is active, a clock symbol and the program start time will appear above the ambient temperature. While on the heat mode screen, the remaining run time is displayed at the top, followed by the mode indicator. The set temperature will be in the bottom left. The heater on symbol will show in the bottom right. While on the vent mode screen, vent mode will be indicated at the top, followed by the ambient temperature. The fan speed shows low, medium, high in the bottom left. The fan on symbol also displays in the bottom right. To enter the main menu, the heater needs to be off without any LEDs on. Press the square button and use the rotary dial to scroll to the desired menu option. Select your option by pressing the square button again. To select between heat and vent mode, scroll to mode using the rotary dial and select it by pressing the square button. Select your desired mode and press the square button again. Heat mode will warm the area to a set temperature indicated by red LEDs. Vent mode will circulate air indicated by blue LEDs. To return to the main screen, select back. By default, the timer's language is set to English. To change your preferred language, scroll to and select language. Then choose either English, French, or Spanish. You can also change the set temperature units of your device. Fahrenheit is default. Enter the menu and select Temp Unit. Choose between the Fahrenheit or Celsius symbol. To make sure the change has been made, navigate back to the main screen by choosing Back. The current unit should be shown. The SW version menu selection shows the software version on your Smart Temp controller. It is simply for informational purposes. To change the set temperature of your heater, make sure you are in heat mode. From the main screen, just turn the dial to the desired temperature. Then press the square button to enter the change. Once set, you can view the set temperature in the bottom left of the screen. While in vent mode, you can set the fan speed. Press the Webasto button from the main screen so the blue indicator lights turn on. Use the dial to increase or decrease power. There are three speed settings shown in the bottom left of the screen. 
The Options menu lets users access advanced settings to program the SmartTemp 2.0 controller and heater. To enter the Options menu, the heater needs to be shut off with no LEDs lit up. Scroll to Options using the rotary dial and select it by pressing the square button. To change a setting, scroll to the desired option and select it by pressing the square button again. Duration controls how long the heater will operate when turned on manually. For instance, starting the heater before going to sleep. Choose from continuous or timed operation. Continuous will run the heater until it's manually turned off. Timed operation will run the heater for a specified amount of time set between 30 minutes and 14 hours. LVD, or Low Voltage Disconnect, allows the user to set the battery voltage at which the Smart Temp Control 2.0 will shut down the heater. This prevents draining the batteries too low for vehicle startup. To set the cutoff, select LVD from the Options menu. Enter a value within the available range. When triggered, a warning will appear on screen for two minutes before the heater shuts down. If you'd like to restrict access to the Advanced Options menu, you can set a password. Scroll to and select Password in the Options menu. Select Yes, then enter a four-digit passcode and press Back to secure the Options menu. To help keep the heater running at maximum efficiency, a preventative maintenance reminder is on by default. After the controller recognizes the system hasn't run for 30 days, a message will display on the main screen reminding you to run the heater for 20 minutes. LEDs will also flash red. You will then have the option to start the maintenance cycle or delay it via a snooze option. If snooze is selected, the reminder will not appear until 12 p.m. the following day. If your travel takes you across time zones, you may need to change your date and time. Select time and date in the options menu. By default, time is displayed in the 12-hour format, but this can be switched to 24-hour if preferred. Use the rotary dial to select the format and correct time in AM or PM. The date is displayed as month, day, then year. Each time you press the square button, you will move to the next segment. The offset feature lets you more accurately obtain the correct ambient temperature. Because the Smart Temp Control also acts as a thermostat to maintain correct ambient temperature, where you mount it is important. Depending on the location of the controller, the temperature reading may vary. You can adjust the offset plus or minus 9 degrees. If you want to revert to the default Smart Temp settings, choose Default from the Options menu. Select Yes to confirm. The timer feature allows you to schedule a time, day, and heater runtime up to seven days in advance. This is a one-time event that must be set again after its use. To set the timer, scroll to Timer in the main menu. Press the square button to access the sub-menu and select it with the same button. Choose a day of the week flashing in the top right corner. Set the start time and runtime duration. Press the square button to return to the original timer screen and you will now see the confirmed schedule. To activate the previous scheduled timer, rotate the dial to highlight the box and press the square button to show the submenu. Select On. It will then say On in the top left of the screen. The home screen will show the time indicator, start time, and day shown at the top. If the timer function will be used regularly for next day startups, the Any setting can be used in place of the day of the week. With this set, the timer will disregard the day setting and start during the next 24-hour period based on the time selected. The Error Codes section logs up to five error codes. Using the rotary dial, select a specific code to view the full description. If the heater produces an error code, the LEDs will flash red and the error will appear on the main screen. Error codes cannot be reset through the Wabasto Smart Temp 2.0. A Wabasto PC diagnostic tool is required. Wabasto. Feel the drive.